I'm excited to see what we got, though. God, already the music. Oh, God, already the music. Oh, fuck, already the music. Oh, this looks so good. For some reason, Batman just always stood out. It's one of the major characters of the 20th century, and so many people connect to it on such a deep level and for so many different reasons. The first conversation I had with Matt about it, I just knew there was something radically different from anything we'd seen in Batman movies before. I felt that we'd seen lots of origin stories. We'd seen things go further and further into fantasy. And I thought, well, one place we haven't been is grounding it the way that year one does to come right in to a young Batman, not be an origin tale, but refer to his origins and shake him to his core. Right from the beginning, there's a desperation to it. He's really working out this rage. All the fights seem very personal. What's so wonderful about this world is the exploration of the gray area. Catwoman really wants to fight for those who don't have someone else to fight for them. And that's where Batman and her really connect. Mm. He wants to inflict his kind of justice. He's just compelled to do it. There is no other option. Damn, that looks... Hey guys, so you just saw a little look of us behind the scenes and um, it feels like that was forever ago, which is really strange. And actually, um, as we're finishing the movie now, kind of really emotional for me um, to see you guys, especially uh, after all, everything that's happened and to see you now again. I feel like I've been watching your faces every day uh, in editorial, but now to actually see you guys is really, really great. And um, I gotta say, it was, it was a, an amazing time making the movie with you guys. And um, it's really cool to see you now. Oh, and it's so exciting Aww. to see like these little snippets of the film, you know, after for us being able to step away for a while. I know you've been in it the whole time, but every time I see just a little bit, it's just, it's so exciting. So you can see the progression. It kind of seems like it's getting more exciting and bigger it's and exciting. kind of scary. <laughs> there was just something very special and magical about the way you guys played off of each other right from the beginning. And so I just knew right away, I was like, going, wow, there's just a really neat like, I know you guys are friends, and so there was a great chemistry right from the beginning that I just felt like there was a connection, which you naturally had. And I feel like when we were filming, obviously that came out more and more. I mean, do you guys remember when we were doing that that crazy uh, sort of, I guess, screen test, I guess you would call it, you know, when you guys I mean, got together I, for the first I time? I definitely remember, because that was basically my odd audition, right? You know, Rob was already cast, yeah. and that was my audition, and I was really nervous, and I remember you gave me, like, a... <laughs> the hardest part of the audition, helmet? to be honest, <laughs> the helmet. I have the. They were like, "Here's this helmet, you know," and you have to like walk out, and then you take the helmet off, and you do the scene. But it's like sometimes really hard to look like cool when you're taking off. At, like you get stuck, and I was like, "This is how I lose the part. I lose the part <laughs> because I can't take off a helmet." <laughs> and it was just the opposite. Do you remember your first day, Rob, when you were wearing? one of the actual bat suits. When Rob and I first got together, like we'd had all those conversations and then just by virtue of what it is, it's Batman, the studio's like, well, we always do like a screen test, which is so like, you know, kind of the mm -hmm. same thing you guys did, Rob did first by himself and had, literally was wearing, I believe Val Kilmer's, Val Kilmer's yeah. bat suit. Yeah, which by the way, like the moment you put it on, like that was kind of a crazy moment. It was crazy, but, but I remember putting it on and thinking that this is impossible, this is gonna be absolutely impossible. I remember you saying like, because I guess just trying to move, I mean, wearing a kind of two inch thick rubber suit or latex suit and being incredibly nervous and full of adrenaline the whole time. I remember we did like two takes and then you were just saying, what, what can we do about this sweat? <laughs> and I was like, nothing. There's nothing what that can, can be done. What can we do about this sweat? Of liquid. <laughs> <laughs> the other thing that I remember too, which is cool because it informed the movie, is at the end of that costume test, where you came and you put on the, uh, the eye makeup and began the transformation, that moment for me, that was when I was like, oh my God, it is so you. Like, it was just such a cool, and I remember you saying afterwards to me, you were like, 
uh, I don't know what I just did. I said, it was amazing, <laughs> which it was. It was really, really cool. <laughs> but I really did think, oh my God, this version of this character, this guy who's sort of almost like, if you think of Bruce Wayne as like a recluse rock star in a decaying manner, there's this part of me that so saw you as that. And I had no idea that you would be interested in playing the role at all. And I thought, what if Rob doesn't want to play Batman? This will be a disaster. <laughs> and then it turned out that you completely on your own had a whole path to the same thing, which is that you had been obsessed with Batman for years and when you found out that we were doing this version, you were very interested. So I was, it was one of those things that for me felt really kind of lucky and faded and then we met. I really felt that connection with you where I felt like, oh, we're gonna be able to find something new with this guy and do something really special. But for me, you were always that version of what I saw in the page and that was about trying to create a new version of Bruce. He doesn't have as much control over his personality, like the delineation between the wording of a lot of this stuff seems very so deliberate. And, and other kind of um, iterations of it, it, you know, he really knows what he's doing when he's putting on the cowl. And um, I kind of really like this idea. It's a little bit out of control. He hasn't completely defined what Batman is. I mean, it's kind of, he gets lost in it whenever he's putting it on every night and it's kind of, you're basically, He's not sleeping and he's you know, becoming this quite sort of odd creature. Like just finding the right, literally how to move as Batman, how to talk as Batman. I mean, that was what was fun for me even when you guys first met up. I was like, going, oh, so this is the rhythm of what it'll be like when you guys talk to each other. Like even something as simple as that. And like the way you came in with, like you had for me, so you had an attitude that was so Selena right from the way you came in. I obviously you know understand the gravity of a character like this and what she means to so many people but what felt really important was to really focus on the story that we're telling in this moment you know and um you know try and create a real human being you know i don't okay. i don't want her to be an idea you know i want her to be a real human being in a real situation in a real city trying to survive and reacting to her own pain, you know, and, and, and her history. So um, I really, really focused on this particular story and this particular moment in this woman's life. I think it was about trying to find a way, again, as Zoe was saying, to ground her so that she felt like she had an emotional journey that made sense for who she was, that ended up being Selena Kyle, but was one that we hadn't seen before, and yet some ways it does connect to the comics. I mean, that's the thing which will be fun to share with an audience is that there are very, there are a lot of iconic Selena Kyle aspects to the story, but I don't think any version of, of any of the Batman stories that have done any Selena stuff have done it in this way. Because this is the foundation that we're setting right <laughs> Exactly, now, right? that's like, kind of... move forward and see her become every, Everything with Selena you know, has been later. will always be there. This so is like starting our it. First trailer for our movie last year at DC. Here we Fandom. go. This is. I want to say thank you for the great response. It's only fitting that we share the second trailer with you all today. Oh. Okay. Oh. Enough from us. Here's what you've Here been we waiting go. so patiently for. It's the trailer for the Batman. Mm. Shut up, car. Oh, and everything just got fucking bad. Oh no, the quality just went down on my end. No! Hands up! Stay still! Oh Get shit. the sky. It's not just a call. It's a warning. <laughs> okay. I've been trying to reach you. Find the gun! This is about a king. And Rither's the match. I can take care of myself. Oh. If this continues, it won't be long before you've nothing left. I don't care what happens to me. It's only gonna get worse for you. Whoa, take it easy, sweetie. 
Okay. Maybe we're not so different. Who are you under there? I'm vengeance. Oh. <laughs> Bro. Yes. 